Mercury 154 stroke, cutting out 2,500 or so RPMs when it's in the water. This is a Honduras made boat. So we thought the trim angles were kind of odd because we haven't experienced a bunch of problems with this. Um, the customer says 2,500 is cutting out. Didn't do it for about three weeks after we updated the fuel filter uh, system on it. Um, so we thought maybe it was some angles, the way the boat's designed and the transom angle, but the transom angle looks pretty good. So it was malfunctioning last uh, Friday when we were checking it with the customer here and we were we got the scanner on it the scanner was showing we had like 64 percent trim 100 it's just all over the place and there's a scenario for resetting that we went through that scenario and it was unresponsive so we think the trim module is bad however we can't find the trim module in this one of course we haven't really looked all that hard but we look pretty good and so we're going to have to get to the schematic and locate the trim module and I, I'm not sure if they make a delete kit for it on this one or if we can just reset it once it's replaced and functioning like it's supposed to. Customer bought this engine used and, and we rigged it onto this boat for him along with those talons and a bunch of other stuff. So we're going to do an angle test right now. So turn the key on and get the scanner going real quick. Key needs to be on so the scanner will read. That's Kenneth Walker up there at Hot Heads Marine today. It's a little chilly, kind of cloudy. There's Jojo. Jojo's waiting to spray some gel coat. Let me know when that scanner is live. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to we're going to make the engine fail by trimming it to show that the trim angle is working now, but we're going to show that the reading doesn't match what it should say. Okay, so we got some conflicting information. Now we're going to check the engine grounds. We're going to check a lot of things before we just throw that module in the garbage, but more than likely the module is just having a problem in our opinion. Go ahead and fire it up and give me some RPMs and then trim it up. And I want to look at the trim angle. I'll just guide you what to do. Zero right now. Okay, the trim shows zero now, but the engine is trimmed up. And that's probably trimmed up. I mean, that's level. So, so trim it. Here, let's see it. Which one is it? I got the camera. It was just doing it. It was just jumping in. Okay, so go get 60. the, go trim it down for me a little bit. Okay, and that's freaking all out. So is that all the way down? Trim it all the way down until it stops. That's all the way down. Okay, that shows it at 100%. Bump the switch up a little bit. And it went to zero. Yeah, it's, it's all over the place. Okay, so let's make the engine fail. And then let's see, and then chop the throttle on it, and then let's see where that says the trim is. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, good. Okay, zero percent right there. And you know, okay, whatever. I didn't want you to trim it back down because I want I want to see what that says on the angle where it's messing up. So do it one more time and just cut the throttle. Alright, now let's see what the trim angle says. And it says 100%. So it's definitely got some kind of trim sensor problem. Or whatever. Reset it? I thought we set it there. And we've tried resetting it a couple of times and it, and it says it wouldn't do it. And it's just goofy. Anyway, so we're going to look for the trim module and all its related components to see what the hell, um, why it's malfunctioning and replace those components or repair them. And that's it.